Visualization of a soft tissue density surrounding a stone in the bile duct is often construed as an inflammatory process. Herein we present three cases in which this assumption was proven to be incorrect. Our first case is an 89-year-old patient who presented with obstructive jaundice. On EUS, a stone was visualized in the bile duct as a hyper-echoic central area that was surrounded by a soft tissue density. EUS guided final biopsy of the soft tissue density was performed, which showed adenocarcinoma. This case is a 68-year-old patient who presented with obstructive jaundice. On EUS, a stone was visualized in the bile duct as a hyperchoric central area that was surrounded by soft tissue density. EUS guided final biopsy of the soft tissue density was performed, which showed adenocarcinoma. ERCP was subsequently performed, which showed a biliary stricture requiring biliary stem placement. This case is a 61-year-old patient who was referred for ERCP for bile duct stone removal prior to cholecystectomy. On EUS, a stone was visualized as a hyper central area in the gallbladder that was surrounded by soft tissue density. EUS-guided final biopsy of the soft tissue density was performed, which showed adenocarcinoma. So the take-home points are Soft tissue density surrounding a stone in the bile duct should not be assumed to be merely an inflammatory reaction as it could be a malignant lesion and therefore should be sampled. A 22 gauge FMB needle is ideally suited for tissue sampling. When sampling, only the soft tissue density should be targeted and not the normal bile duct wall to minimize the risk of a bile leak. If you want to observe and learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art EUS technologies, please attend Florida Live EUS from August 17th to 19th, 2023 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.